hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video uh is on mel gibson mel gibson has been a lot on the news lately like i've, I've been seeing him all over the news so this one is say uh, this was hollywood panics as mel gibson exposes them all hmm. let's get right into it guys in a 1998 interview, Mel Gibson made a number of cryptic references to a dark and evil side of Hollywood that he personally encountered. When I came over here, I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties. Right. The first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. Um, and nobody was really bothering to explain it to me. They don't. <clears throat> and, uh, it, it, and I formed a bunch of opinions about the town and about the people in it that were like, surely that couldn't be because a whole place can't be like, you know, weird town, you know, where the stranger wanders in and, and all the people are in the bar and they all shut up when he looks at him and... Mm -hmm. and they tell you don't go out of the house on the hill. and It's like that. Mm -hmm. And then you go away and you think, no, that's, I was wrong. I mean, that's insane thinking. I'm paranoid. I imagined that stuff. That couldn't be the reason for why so-and-so was acting like, could it? Mm -hmm. And then you find out later on the track that you are exactly on track mm -hmm. with a lot of this stuff. Not specifically on mm -hmm. track, but that you could, uh, that some of your worst nightmares were real at the time and you think mm -hmm. a place like this can humiliate you mm -hmm. and it can be it can either it can humiliate you it can be humbling i mean it, it does rip your life to pieces Is it? if you'll let it yeah and it's always pounding at the walls it's yeah. the, these little guys these little heathens with no soul downstairs with horns on their head with a battering ram trying to like beat your walls in. Now Gibson, of course, since that interview has met with, uh, shall we say, some unfortunate circumstances. His reputation was soiled after 2006 drunk driving arrest when he made widely publicized anti-Semitic remarks which have tarnished his reputation among Hollywood insiders ever since. And yet, Gibson appears to have come out from that reputational slander rather undaunted. He was seen of late standing up and saluting President Trump at a recent UFC championship fight, and he's been pictured posing with Kerry Lake in Arizona. But now we're getting reports that Gibson is preparing to release a groundbreaking four-part documentary series that will shed light on the hidden world of a global child sex trafficking ring. According to Newsweek, the shocking revelation is expected to expose the industry's staggering annual revenue of $34 billion. If you can believe it, that's an amount that surpasses the yearly earnings of the airline industry. Here's Tim Ballard of Operation Underground and one of the leading figures in the global fight against child trafficking. For Ukraine, got a phone call from Mel Gibson. He actually did the final edit of The Sound of Freedom. That's how we know each other, but not well, not well enough that I'd be getting phone calls. They told me that he was in Budapest at the time. This was right hours after the invasion. And he said he supports a bunch of orphans in Ukraine and he was worried about them. And he asked if I could help get them out. So now I've got 12 from my wife. I got 13 others from Mel Gibson. And I'm thinking, okay, I got this list of kids I got to get out. Um, I told Mel, I said, you got to help me. This is going to be expensive. I won't ask you for direct donation, but can you help me film this? You know, let's film what's happening so we can get people to understand and they can support us. He said, no problem. He helped us get set up and started filming. Four months later, what I thought was going to be maybe a documentary about Ukraine ends up being a four-part docu-series. It's almost done. It's being produced by DNA Films and executive produced by Tony Robbins. That's how crazy it got and how prophetic my wife was. When I showed up in Ukraine with a list of, I think, 20 names, the Ukrainians countered me and gave me over 10,000 names of orphans that they didn't know where they were because of the chaos caused by war. And more importantly and, and more frightening to me was the fact that I know that human trafficking is a $32 billion a year business. It's the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world and I also know how kids get forced into that market. And it's through vulnerable situations like in the aftermath of a hurricane 
mostly in a developed country or an earthquake, or in this case, a war. Again, that was Tim Ballard. Uh, he's absolutely amazing. He's a former CIA and DHS special agent, and now he's dedicated his life to rescuing children from human trafficking, which, of course, is happening in Ukraine, as he uh, pointed out. And it's happening more than any one of us could imagine our worst nightmares at our southern border, thanks to the deliberate incompetence of the bumbling Biden administration. But as you can see from that testimony, Mel Gibson, behind the scenes, is on the forefront of these rescue operations, which may indeed involve the release of this documentary, that according to Newsweek. Now, you should know Gibson's publicist has uh, denied these rumors. Uh, obviously, he's very worried about the blowback that Mel would inevitably get from a town that doesn't appear to take too kindly to exposing some of their darker tendencies. But unfortunately for Hollywood, the genie may be out of the bottle on this one. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw the recent bombshell piece in the Wall Street Journal, a front page article exposing the social media site Instagram for being used as a platform for connecting and promoting a vast network of accounts dedicated to the commission and purchase of underage sex content. It was an in un investigation conducted by the Wall Street Journal, Stanford University, as well as the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And it found that Instagram's algorithms actively promote pedophilia-related content, connecting pedophiles and guiding them to content sellers through various recommended systems. The researchers discovered that Instagram allows people to search explicit hashtags related to child sexual abuse and links them to accounts advertising and selling child sex material. I mean, it was horrific stuff, to say the least, and indicates that something seems to be going on here. There does seem to be a kind of Harvey Weinstein-like rumbling going on here where the dark secrets everyone knew about are about to come to the surface for all to see. So regardless of whether Mel Gibson goes through with this or not, it does appear that the cat is out of the bag and some pretty seedy behavior among our ruling elite is about to come to much-deserved light. Hey, gang, I know what it's like to feel alone. Guys. What I, what, what I want to say is that I've seen I've seen comments or clips where people are denying, like saying that they are just coming up with lies. I don't know if anybody will claim that there's no child trafficking going on in the world we are today. I don't know because and it's it's it's, it's quite easy to for for people to even go into this act because you no know, children. Most children, most parents don't even have school cry on their behalf. That children go, like thousands of children go missing and alarms are not being raised because most parents know that even if they talk, who will hear them? Nobody will respond to them. Do you get so? I, I must, I must commend Mel Gibson for, for standing on this and like trying to do this. It's not easy. I'm just trying what, I'm just imagining how dangerous it must be for him right now. Because he is taking it upon himself to do something that will expose him, like I will leave him to danger, expose him to danger. Like man, this this is very horrible. The fact that people are comfortable sitting on that table deciding how many children will you say today? How many have your people captured? Like how many children do you have you sold? Me, I have sold more than you. Ha 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 ha. Like I'm just imagining. Oh. Man, this is oh let me know your let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and take care of yourself guys. Bye.